तो लेट मी फर्स्ट डिफाइन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन मेथड व्हाट आई मीन बाय ऑप्टिमाइजेशन मेथड बिकॉज the genetic algorithms we will discuss are basically used for function optimization so optimization is a mathematical methodology to minimize or maximize the function of variables as for example it is written like this that is find the value of x where the function fx has minimum value this value Needs to be found. Here, for the sake of simplicity, I have shown it with a single variable function. It may be a multi-variable function. And the function that maps uh, from the Cartesian product of a set of real numbers to a set of real numbers, where R denotes the set of real numbers where the function a maps r to the power a to r which is being minimized it is called an objective function and you can also apply optimization method to find the maximum of a function also how by by finding the minima of negation of fx we can find the maximum of fx <clears throat> Next I shall discuss why do we need genetic algorithms for function optimization because there are standard mathematical techniques like gradient descent method uh, for function optimization then why do we need genetic algorithms firstly and secondly how can it be an ai method how can it be an ai method secondly that i shall discuss before going into the details of genetic algorithm so firstly why genetic algorithms are necessary for function optimization since since <coughs> there are standard mathematical techniques like gradient descent method i have already mentioned which we can apply for function optimization function optimization now when such techniques are available then why why would we need genetic algorithms for the same purpose why would we need it
Next, I would like to explain why GAs are necessary for function or optimization. Now, gradient descent methods for function optimization have to fulfill certain preconditions. What are those? Firstly, the interval in which we need to optimize the function. In that interval, the function should be differentiable. That is, at all points over the interval, uh, the derivative of the function should exist. And secondly, it must be convex. That is, the double derivative of the function should be greater than zero. So these are the two preconditions which we need to fulfill if we want to apply gradient-based method for function optimization. <coughs> And secondly, local maxima or minima create problems for gradient descent methods. And these are the uh, one is the preconditions to be fulfilled to, to be fulfilled to apply existing gradient descent methods. And this is the this, this is one of the limitations of the problem. Considering these two, these are free from all these. That is, if you if you want to perform function optimization using genetic algorithms, you need not check whether these two preconditions are met. Firstly, secondly, it is free from the problem of local maxima or minima. Thirdly, GS provide a set of solution instead of a single one. It is true that it may so happen that none of these solutions is exactly <clears throat> the optimal solution, but all may be near optimal solution. <clears throat> and out of that, you can choose one. So <clears throat> this is why we need GA for function of optimization, even when there are existing mathematical techniques for this purpose. Next point, I would like to clarify why it is called an AI-based method. When I defined genetic algorithms, I mentioned that genetic algorithms are inspired by Darwinian theory of evolution. <coughs> specifically natural selection and principles of genetics. <clears throat> so basically uh, the theory of evolution um, which is based on basically natural selection uh, that is the fittest person will always survive in the environment. The fittest person will always survive, survive in the environment. That is the key words for natural selection, which is a pillar of Darwinian theory of evolution. And when we apply genetic algorithm for finding for function optimization, we basically apply this intelligent trick that is followed by nature. This intelligent trick that is followed by nature. By following this intelligent trick, that is by following the principle of natural selection, higher animals have come over the earth from simple animals. Higher intelligent animals have come over the earth from simple animals or from uh, simple <clears throat> uh, what should I say from uh, not animals but for from from simple living beings like a unicellular living being so when we apply genetic algorithm actually we apply this intelligent trick this intelligent principle for finding the optima of a function. That is why it is called 
intelligent technique <clears throat> and secondly we also apply certain principles of genetics certain principles of genetics that is in genetics <clears throat> certain operations like mutation and crossovers are performed uh, over the chromosomes existing in the human cell to 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 produce better quality of life to produce better quality of life so these two principles are followed when we apply genetic algorithm to find the optima of a function that is why it is called an ai based method am i clear to you yes sir okay yes sir okay okay so basically it is free from mathematics it, it it basically applies intelligent tricks followed by nature to get good quality of solution especially for function optimization problem <clears throat> it is not a it is not a not a methodology methodology like state space chart which is a general problem solving methodology it is its application is very much limited and it is applied for function optimization next i would like to discuss certain terminologies of genetics which we will <coughs> frequently apply in genetic algorithms so we should be familiar with those terminologies like genes like chromosomes <coughs> like this type of uh, terminologies acha before before discussing this uh, terminologies this terminologies let us introduce le let me introduce a function optimization problem let there be a set of xy data Say we have obtained this data, data obtained from some experiment. <clears throat> so if we draw this point. now 
if we want to have the y value for some x value where x equal to a and this a this x value is not given in this table that is the fly between xi and xi plus 1 these are two entries of the table then how can we compute this y value Sir, so, a function bar korbo from the data, and then we can put a in the function to find the value of y. So it is basically a problem of interpolation, isn't it? Function interpolation. Yes, sir. So there are techniques, mathematical techniques like mid square error optimization or linear regression. Have you heard of this technique? Have you heard of this technique? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, under linear regression, what we do? We basically find a straight line here. There, there are infinite number of straight lines over this plane. But out of this infinite number of straight lines, we select one which will, which will minimize the sum of these squared errors means if it is a straight line then the equation of this straight line is y equal to mx plus C. Isn't it? This is the gradient, uh, this is the slope of the straight line and this is the intercept. And we want to under <coughs> under linear regression, we want to have one such straight line that will minimize this error. That is y of There are several such state lines, infinite number of state lines. <clears throat> and this may be a state line, this may be a state line, this may be a state line. There are infinite number of state lines lying over this plane. Sir, uh, sir, formula ta clearly dekha da chana. Ita? Uh, sir. Sure.
this is a problem where we can apply genetic algorithm. Hmm. So this is this is called linear regression or curve fitting. Uh, or uh, uh, curve fitting, a straight line fitting. Next, I shall discuss certain terminologies of genetics because those terminologies will be frequently used in genetic algorithms. Now, when you solve this optimization problem in numerical methods, you consider partial derivative of this error function once in respect to M and second time in respect to C. And then you consider this both of these partial derivatives to be equal to zero. Then for these two unknowns, you got two equations and from where you obtain the value of M and C by the existing methods. Can you recollect it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I shall discuss how the same optimization problem can be solved by an AI method like genetic algorithm. But before going into that discussion, I would like to explain certain terminologies of genetics which will be frequently used with genetic algorithms.
So <coughs> evolution occurs through a process of natural selection according to Darwin. And this process of natural selection produces higher forms of life from simple forms. And the principle of natural selection states that, or simply speaking, that it is simply speaking, the principle of natural selection states that stronger individuals are likely to be winners in a competing environment. Stronger individuals are likely to be winners in a competing environment. So, when we search for an optimal solution, when we search for the optima of a function, we will always try to find one which is the fittest one compared to others, which is the fittest one. So we will apply this principle in genetic algorithm. And next I shall explain Oh, oh, I am going to go there. Oh, oh. I am going to go there. 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 I am going to go this principle of natural selection will be required later, but before that, uh, I should explain certain terminologies of genetics like genes chromosomes. mean by gene and what is mean by chromosome. So these are the preliminaries. These are the preliminaries
সবগুলো বয়ে যাচ্ছে বোর্ডে হ্যাঁ স্যার আচ্ছা লিখে নিয়েছো তারপর বলছি qualities of our ancestors it is determined by the genes in our cells so genes a gene is the basic physical and functional unit of heredity that is genes determine how we will inherit the qualities of our ancestors all right yes sir the next uh, what is the chemical composition of genes genes are made up of deoxy ribonucleic acid that is called dna and de deoxy ribonucleic acid they have helical structure like this and genes contain now the purpose of gene genes contain code for a specific protein that functions in one or more types of cells in the body proteins are very important they basically control cell function they basically control proteins basically control cell functions and what kind of protein all proteins are not same they are not structurally and functionally same and what kind of proteins uh, will be synthesized within a cell that code is stored in genes so in other words some genes act as instructions instruction to make molecules called proteins because basically proteins they determine the cell function and what kind of proteins will be synthesized inside the cells this is determined by the by the code stored in genes <clears throat> but many genes do not code for proteins they have some separate function also genes are genes are there also with separate function but this this is the very important function of certain genes that is they con contain code for specific protein that functions in one or more types of cells in the body now what is the gene size actually <clears throat> genes are made up of deoxy ribonucleic acid which is of like this type of helical structure <clears throat> this is the base pairs are there this helical structure basically this there are certain base pairs <clears throat> now gene sizes may vary from few hundred deoxy nucleic acid bases to more than 2 million bases these two strands they are hold with this dna bases The next is chromosome. Chromosomes are tiny spaghetti-like structures which <coughs> contain genes in a cell nucleus. So, if you go to the uh, go into the nucleus of a cell, you will find chromosome pairs. And these chromosomes have spaghetti-like structure. They contain the genes in the cell. So, these are the Uh, 
looking at the certain terminologies of genetics which we should know before studying genetic algorithms is this all right yes sir okay acha next come darwinian theory of evolution i have i have already mentioned it next comes how genetic algorithms work by drawing analogy with evolutionary process or how it is actually inspired by the process of natural selection and the principles of genetics Genes are inspired by the process of process of evolutionary process of natural selection and the principles of genetics. <clears throat> Next, we will discuss. So what we are going to discuss? We are going to discuss how genes work by drawing analogy with evolutionary processes. Specifically speaking, that is specifically speaking, the process of natural selection and the principles of genetics. <clears throat> Now, can you tell me uh, <coughs> evolution occurs? in the art with full of various life forms isn't it yes sir yes sir evolution occurs in the art with a set of life forms among them evolution occurs yes sir so if we want to apply this 
if we want to <clears throat> apply these principles of evolutionary process for function optimization, then we should begin with a with a set of candidate solutions. These candidate solutions are equivalent to various life forms existing over the earth. So we first need to have a set of candidate solutions. How we can generate that set of candidate solution? Randomly. In case of in case of least square approximation, what will be that uh, set of <clears throat> initial population or in uh, the set of candidate solution? It consists of a number of pairs of M and C values, where M denotes where M denotes the gradient of the straight line and C denotes the intercept. Can you follow me? Yes, sir. Okay. So, yes, initially, Yes. Yes. Randomly chosen candidate solutions. So GS initially create create a set of randomly chosen candidate solutions called population. In case of uh, in case of a least square approximation problem, what will be our population? We consist of pair of A and C values. Then we choose A and C values. Hello. Yes, sir. So this will be our population for for linear interpolation. Now, obviously, all these candidate solutions in this initial population, they are randomly generated. So, <clears throat> they are, usually we can assume that they are not good solution. They are not good solution. Now, by following the principles of natural selection, we will generate better set of solution from this population another better set of solution. How? That I am going to explain.
So his problem domains a candidate solution is represented by a set of parameter values which are supposed to optimize an objective function. In case of linear interpolation, there are two parameters uh, that constitute every candidate solution. And with these parameter values, we want to optimize that error function, that is sum of the squared error function, which I mentioned initially. अच्छा ये तो मुझे तो होगी हाँ सर अच्छा So every candidate solution, it consists of a fixed number of parameters. <clears throat> and these parameters are regarded as genes. So these are genes. In case of the problem of interpolation, each candidate solution consists of two genes and in the real life what is a gene it is a structural and functional unit of heredity a gene determines how we will inherit qualities from our ancestor so these genes will determine how a candidate solution uh, these genes determine the quality of a candidate solution. Next is
So the parameters are regarded as jits, and the parameter values of candidate solution encoded in the form of a binary string is regarded as chromosome. Now, for this linear interpolation problem, let let uh, M I C I be a candidate solution equal to a level a candidate solution. So let MICI be a candidate solution in this population. And this candidate solution is designed for this linear interpolation problem. Let us assume that MI has a value 8 and CI has a value 11. <clears throat> Assuming a 4 bit representation, the binary encoding of this candidate solution will be 1, 0, 0, and then of 1, 0, 1, 1. So, what is this? <clears throat> we can call this string as a chromosome. So, let us summarize. First, we have to create a set of candidate solution, which is called population. Each candidate solution is represented by a fixed number of parameter values. And each of these parameter is regarded as a gene. And <clears throat> the parameters in a candidate solution, they are encoded as a binary string. So basically, every candidate solution in genetic algorithm is represented as a string of binary numbers and which is called a chromosome. Clear? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. So what will be our objective from this set of chromosomes, our objective will be to, to generate a better set of chromosomes, a, another set of chromosomes which, which are, will be of better quality. How? By applying the principles of natural selection and the principles of genetics. And these two principles work behind the evolution of life over the earth. Next, uh, 
to determine the quality of a solution, to determine the quality of a candidate solution, we need some function. We need some function. And that function will be called as fitness function. So we need a fitness function. What will be its input and what will be its output? Its input will be a chromosome. Or it is the same as a candidate solution. So what will be the input to this fitness function in chromosome or a candidate solution? What will be its output? The degree of fitness of the chromosome or the candidate solution to be an optima of the objective function. Because our ultimate objective is to optimize this objective function. <clears throat> How to design this fitness function? In case of in case of the uh, uh, that interpolation, linear interpolation problem, you can design a fitness function as So, for a specific straight line, what will the, the more will be the error, the more will be the error, the less will be the value of the fitness function. And, and the less will be the error, the more will be the value of the fitness function. Can you follow this? Yes, sir. So, this is how we can, we need to design a fitness function to determine the quality of a solution. Whether it is fit for the environment, it is fit for the population. <clears throat> and this fitness function is applied on the chromosome basically to replicate the process of natural selection. That is only those candidate solution from a population, only those chromosomes from a population will be selected next time. Basically, genetic algorithm is an iterative process. Will be selected next, next time, which have good fitness values. <clears throat> 